bringing the people behind our food to life. The, the casks here are um, on what's called, this is called stillage, is the term for what the casks rest on. And uh, they're very simple. They have a hole for pub air instead of CO2. There's, there's actual air going in to replace the beer. And uh, the beer is drawn through what's called a tap. And that's what we talk about tapping beer. We're, we're, we hammer those in with a rubber mallet and open them up. And uh, the beer line is connected through a series of passages over to the, uh, to the hand pull or beer engine or hand pump. There's a lot of terms for it. And this is basically has a cylinder with a piston inside of it. So when I uh, put the pint down and we go all the way in like that and give this a pull, it's drawing the beer out of the firkin behind me into the glass. And you can see it's just a beautiful, I've got a little bit of air in the lines because that's the first pint of the day. There we go, now it's pumping. And you get this beautiful cascading pint of beer coming out of there. That's gonna settle for maybe a minute and then we'll, we'll top it right off to the line. We use imperial measure, so the British measure. This is a uh, 10 ounce half pint. This is a 20 ounce full imperial pint. And the glass itself is 23 ounces. So once this settles out, we'll have a little bit of a room for that nice tight head, which will sit there all the way down to the bottom of the glass. And it's just about there. You just do a little bit of that. Top it off some more. Now this is a lively pint. It's got a lot of natural carbonation in it. That's all from the yeast and the sugars. Yeah, you can see it's starting to, to separate out. A good pint should take a minute to pour. That's, that's what I think. Just one more tip. And there you have it. That's perfect. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing.